asked me to explain the difference between hanging an IV bag as a primary infusion versus a secondary infusion versus what is Y siding. So let me explain what all these terms mean. Also, look at my bun. This I didn't realize I looked this ridiculous till like I saw myself on the camera. So we're just gonna go for it. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is to find a good picture on the internet of primary versus secondary versus Y siding. So we're gonna just work with what we've got. So this is an example of a primary infusion with a secondary infusion. And secondary infusions are sometimes called IV piggyback. So this is the primary infusion right now. This is the main infusion. So this may be like your IV fluid, something that's running continuously. It could also be like a TKO to keep open or a KVO, keep vein open. Those are usually running at like slower rates. Regardless, primary infusions typically are running continuously. Secondary infusions or IV piggybacks are smaller infusions infusions that you're just giving you know intermittently so like your antibiotics or your electrolytes to set up a secondary infusion you need to hang your secondary bag higher than your primary bag so you can see how this secondary tubing is shorter and it connects to your primary tubing but the secondary bag is hanging above the primary Here's an example of some secondary tubing. When you go to grab a secondary set, it'll come with this little hook so you can hang your primary bag lower and the secondary set of tubing is shorter to connect to the primary. There's another picture of this. So here would be just like your, you know, continuous infusion. I know it says intermittent, but let's just, for the sake of this, pretend this is your primary infusion that's connected to the patient. And this would be a, a primary infusion with a secondary. So the secondary, again, is higher. Whatever is hanging higher is going to run first. So when you go to program your pump, and if you wanna see a video on that, let me know. Um, whatever you're programming it for, whatever's hanging up here, if this is unclamped, is going to run before this lower one. Now, why siding is a little different, and I apologize, this image is like not the best. I don't know why it's so difficult to find images of why siding on the internet, but it is. So why siding is where you hang separate medications so these are on separate pumps. I know they're like disconnected, but just separate channels. And you're Y siding them in together. So they're ending up mixing and going into the same like IV or central line. Your Y siding medications need to be compatible and your secondary and primary infusions need to be compatible. Whenever you're connecting medications together, whether it's a primary and secondary or Y siding, you need to make sure they're compatible. Hope that helps.